Roger, coming back up. Hello viewers and welcome to my first impressions of Titanfall Beta for PC. It is Monday the 17th of February 2014 at 6pm and I've just played a short game and tried out the training missions. Titanfall comes out on PC and Xbox One in March 2014. Um, two issues with this game. A. It costs more in Australia and B. It uses, well, probably three issues. It uses cloud servers instead of the proper standalone servers. And the cloud servers are the Microsoft Gaming Cloud Service. And of course, there are ones in Europe, Russia, America, America in like North and, and South. But oh, there is no Australian or New Zealand Microsoft Cloud Service. <laughs> So, what are we stuck using? We have to connect to Singapore cloud servers. And so, um, we'll probably have 165 to 200p for this great um, service. So, um, I myself, because I'm 5k's away from the exchange and on a dodgy ADSL2 connection out in the sticks, managed to get, I think it was 190, 185 ping. So it wasn't the best. People over in Perth had a better experience because they've got a different international link and they might be closer. They got 115 to 125. Graphically, the game looks fine. It is using the Source 2 engine. Um, heaps of options in the menu. Um, I didn't see field of view. Uh, not surprised because A, it's a beta and it's a Call of Duty type game and Ghost didn't even do that and Black Ops 2 didn't even do that when they came out. But it did look alright. Um, I'm running in 720p mode because I'm uh, recording it for you guys using Fraps. I am running low on hard drive space and I'm getting another uh, hard drive this week. While I was recording it was doing a good solid 60 FPS. Now I'm running 8 gig of RAM, a Haswell 3.3 gigahertz system, and a old cruddy GTX NVIDIA 560 Ti card. I will be upgrading to 16 gig of RAM and a flashier video card later in the year, around September, November, December. But at the moment, that video card does me fine. All right, moving on back to the game. A uh, bit of price differences for the PC copy. You've got $60 US in America on Origin and on Amazon. You've got anywhere from $79 Australian to $90 Australian. Um, anywhere from the retail stores and Origin. And from what I've seen, it's actually cheaper to get it on disc in Australia. <laughs> Uh, then on Origin, um, apparently there's a place over in Asia somewhere you can pick it up for $48 Australian digitally for an uh, Origin code and I'm guessing if you use the Mexico VPN we'll even be able to get it cheap there too. Um, so yeah, two issues with it um, besides you know it's an Origin game is no dedicated service till November 2014 and price difference to look out for. Otherwise it looks like a good Battlefield 4 replacement game and if you didn't get Battlefield 4 but you were one of the silly idiots that got Call of Duty Ghosts and you got shits with it, this is definitely a game to replace it. I will be doing more footage later on this week once I can get OBS uh, set up with it, it actually crash the game so um hopefully you'll just um enjoy the little footage i've got and the little blurb and i'll have some more actual gameplay this week Alrighty, have a good week and thanks for watching hello viewers and welcome to my first impressions of titanfall beta for pc it is monday 
the 17th of February 2014 at 6pm and I've just played a short game and tried out the training missions. Titanfall comes out on PC and Xbox One in March 2014. Um, Have the IMC tracking way ahead of us. We gotta catch up before it's too late. 